Hey guys, welcome to Shrewby Wright Garage. Rally season is now in full swing. So PK and I are gonna be heading out to Orange for her first full navigation in the old 34 Plymouth hot rod. Now, of course, we've got some repairs to do from our last outing, so let's get involved. And just quickly, guys, we've now got some merch available if you wanna help support the channel. We've got them in three different colors and a whole bunch of sizes, and they're available for 45 bucks delivered anywhere in Australia. And of course, these are in conjunction with our other methods of support, including our PayPal account if you wish to donate directly, and of course, our Will It Start content. We're always looking for new vehicles to get up and running. So make sure you check out our links in the description for all the details. And if you send us through a photo of you wearing our merch, we'll chuck that up in one of our videos as well. Back to our main content. That's all gonna be pretty straightforward, so I think we'll do the bulk of our repairs outside. Headlight mounts and uh, suspension, of course. But uh, come and take a look at this left-hand side, guys. Uh, you may not be able to see it too well, but if you can take a look at the circled area, one of our high-pressure steering lines popped right when we were taking it off the bloody trailer. So let's make a start by jacking the front end up. We'll take care of the power steering and that lower control arm first up. Now for a closer look at this arm, we can see the most obvious kink is along here that needs to be pressed back out. We've also got a smaller one on this side here, which has created this gap. So that's the second point. And the third point of damage, which you may not be able to see, is that the ball joint itself has slightly buckled. And that is a TRW part number, and that's actually served up really well. If that can handle bending this control arm without snapping, I'm gonna replace it with another one of the same type. Off to the press. So after a good bit of mucking around, we are back into shape. Time for our new ball joint. The arm back in place and all lined up. I'm gonna now swap out our steering line and actually as we come to undo this line here guys we're seeing the real reason check it out the impact has obviously shoved the whole thing over which caused it to split so we'll have to change the whole rack out instead unlucky now a quick look side by side with the racks that's all lined up as we move over to the other side, old rack is significantly wider, so it's certainly been buckled. And if you look from above, you can see there's a twist there as well, so it had to be replaced. That's looking a lot better. That's a 
very tired looking disc grader. She's been working hard. And I think we're going to change these pads out at the same time. They're getting low. Time to quickly fab up a set of headlight brackets out of steel so we don't have any more breakages on this cast. Bit of a slap up, but she's good enough for the bush. Let's get him on. And that'll be us ready for racing. Off we go. full of rally cars getting ready to go we've got our mates bloody servicing taking care of tire pressures it's gonna have some fun out there
guys. Fortunately, we had quite a few issues. We knew we were going to have some teasing issues throughout the day. But uh, check it out. The face shocks have completely come out. Yeah, we've got some cracks on the Watts Link mount here. And we've got a crack occurring here on the diff. So the abuse of these uh, jumps has taken its toll. I think the only way we're going to salvage anything for the rest of today is we're going to miss out on the next four stages, the so five, six, seven, and eight. We'll rip these uh, Murray Coots shocks out so we don't destroy them anymore. Then just head out for the last four stages uh, at a lot of probably about two thirds of speed because we're going to have no rear shocks. It'll still be a great training exercise and practice for PK. And uh, hopefully, at least that way, we can salvage a bit of today. Unlucky.
seconds to last stage, running out of daylight. And they're just keeping it open for us. guys that is a wrap for our orange 2023 rally it's our first rally of the year um, it's good to get back out and death proof actually uh, it's been a while since it's been driven properly uh, overall it went pretty well um, did have a few issues of course um, what you didn't see was I was having some issues with the brakes I was pushing pretty hard to get it to stop um, I want to look at getting a little bit more bite out of them uh, it was a bit of an issue on some of our corners had to use a handbrake just to assist um, we did have some issues with the roads as well, a um, couple of those issues, so obviously um, there was the getting airborne, <laughs> yeah, which, which you didn't expect. Which I did not expect, I thought that only happened in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you certainly let me know, but look, um, you know, that's okay, that's not really so much of an issue, but that is definitely what broke the shock, so we're going to have to look at repairing that in the future and a better design. Um, other issue was issues with the steering, so um, you may have noticed that we both made the same reaction on some of these ruts on, on one of these stages, and that actually did damage the steering, um, so I ended up collecting one of these ruts. Had a mate earlier in the day collect one as well and damaged his steering also. 
Um, not a real fan of those kinds of sections in the roads. They're really more for a four-wheel drive than a sedan-based platform. Um, and, and look, you know, also at the end of the day, we sort of held out. We pushed to try to do that final stage. Um, they weren't going to let us run. We pushed them to do it. Um, the reality is we shouldn't have run that. You could see just how quickly, within a matter of minutes, that forest got really bloody dark. Um, and look, we could hardly see. We had to slow it down. Um, but that said, I really had to rely on PK a lot for her navigational call because I could not see the roads and they were on point. So uh, well played to you, PK, Thank for you. doing that. Yeah, from, from my experience, um, it was a good day and it just takes a little bit of practice. But once you get the hang of it, you do start feeling a lot more comfortable. I, I honestly didn't have time to feel the fear. I was just so focused on doing my job. I hardly looked up and out at the road and just trusted you to do yours and tried to focus in order to to keep us going where we needed to go and keep us safe yeah 100 percent. and i think you know it was a great idea that we continued going even though we had the shocks were slowing down it was a good team building effort um you know it is the first time out for us this year and um certainly been a while for me and i really think it was worth it um you know at, at the end of the day we still had a great time um, we may not have the time results that we wanted, but we still got some good results. So, uh, next rally is coming up on the 19th of August, I believe. So, uh, we'll give Death Proof a bit of a break until then, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. See you then. Cheers.